Hello everyone! Again, this is Ella and for today, I'm going to give you a lot of new information about the moon and how it affects everything on Earth in 3, 2, 1. The moon feels like a remote control because it controls the natural environment of our planet. Did you know that if the moon is closer to the earth, it will cause a lot of geological damages like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and a lot more. Have you heard about the story of Chang'e in Mobile Legends? Well, let me tell you about it. During their time, the sun is too close to the earth and everything is extremely hot and dry. Farmers cannot grow crops to survive. A young hero named Hu He, Chang'e's husband, hit the ninth consecutive sun with his bow. But one of Hu He's apprentices, who loves the beauty of his wife, wanted to take her pills. Chang'e took two pills and her body became lighter and lighter, so it eventually floated into the air. Since then, they never seen each other ever again. People are always remembering this story every 15th of August of the Chinese lunar eclipse calendar. This is called the Mooncake Festival or the Middle Autumn Day. It is the roundest day of the autumn harvest moon every year. The moon is one of the most essential parts of the sky. It is also something that we are familiar and unfamiliar with. Like, why does the American flag still stand after the Apollo 1 landing even though there's no oxygen on the moon? The flag fabric is made up of a very hard nylon cloth. Another interesting fact is, did you know that they cannot see any stars in the sky when they landed on the moon? It is because the moon landing was performed during the daytime of the moon. It doesn't have any atmosphere resulting in more sunlight and the lights from the stars are buried. To avoid starlight when shooting stars happen, it also necessarily extends the exposure time. It is because the tide is constant. Each essential body has tidal power, and a larger celestial body can lock a smaller celestial body. For example, Mars can lock to its moons, Jupiter's locks up its moons, and they have faced the planets on one side. Why is it that the craters of the moon are very shallow? The truth is, it is not really deep. It's approximately 68 kilometers. The Aiken Basin is one of the largest craters on the solar system. It's 2,500 kilometers in diameter and only 13 kilometers deep. And there's no soil on the surface. It is just like a sand particles. Below is a hard rock so that meteorites can't hit deeply. What are the differences between the two sides of the moon? The other side is relatively flat and the other one has a lot of craters where there's a lot of dot parts and it is called the moon sea. The moon shell is uneven and has a lot of peaks and craters. Based on the United States research, the front of the moon is thin and the back is really thick. Six Apollo moon landing brought back a two pill of 381 kilograms of lunar rocks. Analysis shows that these rocks are exactly the same that we have on Earth, yet the rocks from the moon are much older. Isotope is like a DNA of the planet and it shows that they have a similar source. The one that puts this theory was astrophysicist Mikhaili Vesely, a former Soviet Union, and Alexander Shabalkov. They left a vehicle on the moon that would record everything, and it shows that the monthly shocks from the moon lasted for hours. 
The stones from the moon are mainly basalt and these stones are very dry because they don't have any atmosphere. Is there a UFO on the moon? First, we can imagine if there are aliens, where do we likely build a base? Maybe it was in the moon because there's a lot of places on the moon that cannot be seen and it's very discernible. They might be living underground on the moon because it's really hard if they live on the surface. NASA released a picture of a weird shaped thing from the moon and it made a widespread discussion. They modified the picture and it made the people more doubtful. What is the natural inheritance of the moon? There are five theories of how the moon was created. The first one is the Earth capture. They said that the moon was on Earth's object grabbed by Earth gravity as it passes by. The second one is homology. It explains that the Earth and the moon are made up with the same planetary dust and solar system. The moon is composed of remaining material after the Earth was formed. The Earth splits. It explains here that the Earth was initial one because the speed was too fast. A part of the material was dumped out and that particles created the moon. Impact this hypothesis assumed that the moon was created after the Earth collided with another planet called Theia. Theia is like a size of Mars. If this is true, the moon should have the particles of the Earth and Thea that explains the similar rocks. The donut theory. This explains is given by explanatory teachings that the moon originated from a rock steam called donut. Other scientists said that as well. The Earth was formed and it was not a sphere but a dish and then impacted to other asteroids that formed it and the small particles. After millions of years of cooling, the Earth and the Moon were formed. It is a state of stream where called Celestia. This explains that the both of them are homologous in accordance to the difference. Discovery has the chance to produce a planet like the Moon. Perhaps this is the only understandable explanation of the origin of the moon. The other interesting part of the moon was the total solar eclipse. It is a phenomenon in which the moon moves in front of the earth completely to just block the sun and form a total solar eclipse. Why is the moon completely blocking the sun? This means that the moon has the exact distance on the Earth, not far and not also near. At the beginning, the Earth were dated quickly, only 5 hours a day. Because of the moon, the Earth's speed slows down and decelerates. The best stabilizer of the Earth is the gravity of the moon. The existence of the moon causes tidal fluctuation on the oceans of the Earth. The Earth's magnetic field had become the Earth's protective shield, reducing a lot of instructions from the space comics waves, and continuing life on Earth. Without this shield, there will be no life on Earth. The Ordovician mass extinction. It occurred 440,000 years ago because temperature dropped by 2 to 3 million years, causing every 85% of the species to die. Second is the Devonian marine life mass extinction. 365 million years ago, the reason is the temperature of the Earth had plummeted. Third is the Permian mass extinction of 250,000 years ago, 96% of the species become extinct. This is the worst biological extinction that ever happened. The reason is there are a lot of volcanic eruptions happening for 200,000 years. It made the ecosystem thorough and improvement. The large land area it provides the air conditions such as reptiles and dinosaurs. Fourth is the Triassic mass extinction. 
200,000 years ago, 75% of the marine life have gone extinct in this time due to a lot of volcanic eruptions as well. Fifth is the extinction of the dinosaurs was 65,000 years ago. This time it's causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. The reason is there are asteroids had hit the earth. I don't know if you noticed that every extinction is also a birth to mammals. This also said that it is for the good of humans. This is why some species were eliminated intentionally. Once again, when the moon is closer to the earth, a lot of things might happen. The temperature might drop rapidly, making the earth not suitable for the living things. In this way, the moon is one of the mechanisms to control the Earth's environment. In what natural aspect of the environment being controlled by the moon? Is the world we live in in a really the same after being virtualized? Do you guys think that this is a coincidence? Do you have any idea you have to share? Leave us a comment down below and let's discuss. Oh, 